Every year, more than 300 children are born with cranial facial conditions in Taiwan. The Nordoff Cranial Facial Foundation in Taiwan supports people with such problems by providing training and scholarships. To raise awareness about the condition, the foundation is holding a picnic party on June 4th. Besides great food and company, there'll be fun games and stage performances. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang has the details. E Ambassadors of the Nordhoff Cranial Facial Foundation, actors Cherry Xia and Zhang Jie, stand on the stage with Apple, an 18 year old with a congenital ear deformity called microtia. Together, they stick a pair of eyes, a ear, and a mouth onto a cartoon face to kick off the press conference. Xia and Chang encourage the general public to bring their little ones to the event, saying it will be a good opportunity to foster respect for people with visible craniofacial conditions. When children see them, they get curious. They mean no harm. As parents, we should start by telling our children that they are not different from us. We are all the same, so we shouldn't target them like that. It's a value we should all instill from a young age. If you have children at home, I welcome you all to come to this fantastic event. You will learn a lot from it, and there will be plenty of things to eat and to play with. It will be great. According to a survey by the Nordhoff Cranial Facial Foundation, more than 80 percent of parents of children with congenital cranial facial anomalies worry that their children will be upset by differential treatment from others. In addition, nearly 50 percent of parents say their children with congenital cranial facial anomalies have faced some form of discrimination. When they see her, they might ask why she looks like that. They might even make offensive comments about her body, for example, saying that she is missing an ear. To raise awareness about craniofacial conditions, the foundation will hold a picnic at Taipei's Da Jinmeiti Riverside Park starting at 11 a.m. on June 4th. There will be a magic show, a food market, and a theater performance by a children's troupe. We've come up with fun activities and even adapted picture books into a stage play that will be performed that same day. We hope that after the event, children will learn to respect people who look different from them. Every year, more than 300 children are born with craniofacial conditions in Taiwan. The Nordhoff Craniofacial Foundation in Taiwan provides assistance to people with craniofacial conditions with training courses, rehabilitation programs, as well as scholarships. The foundation hopes the picnic event will encourage people to learn more about the condition and respect people with the condition. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Huang Tihao in Taipei.